Thank you for allowing me uh, some time here. I, uh, <clears throat> I remembered this morning that um, there was something very important that I did not mention. And I believe that since we're in this area that it's important to, uh, to bring that fact out. Here in this area was born a peacemaker. About a thousand years ago, he was born here in this area. And he was born to a woman and her mother who were running away from many negative things that were happening where they were living. And when they arrived in this area, they rebuilt a village. And that's where he was born in this area. And as a young man, when he became older, he built a stone canoe. And when he was ready, he went to the water. And he stood there with his canoe. And he said, I have to leave to go on a journey. I have to go look for the evil people in this world and to persuade them away from negative things and to lead them in the path of peace. And so when he went across this water, when he came to the other side, he came in contact with many men who were who had lost their way from the original instruction. And it took a very long time, but he walked among the nations. The original five nations were one people at one time. But because of all the turmoil, they separated from one another and they became five nations. After he created the peace, he said we're gonna need a symbol to remind us of this peace we have made. And he chose the white pine tree to be that symbol. You're gonna notice on the white pine tree there are bunches of needles tied together. Five of them tied into one. It means the five nations are united into one heart, one body, and one mind. And he took an arrow and he broke it in half. And he said, when you are only one nation by yourself, you are easily broken, just as I have broken this arrow. Then he took one arrow from each nation, and he bound them together. No one could break it, because now they were united together into one heart, one body, and one mind. And that's why we are still here today, after a thousand years, we have survived. Now you hear about democracy in this world. In different countries they say they are following democracy. But no one hardly knows where it came from. It came originally from the tree of peace. And then it started to spread because the country of the USA, when it was young, it took the principles 
from the great law of peace and they made their constitution. And so originally democracy and the principles of freedom came from our people here. It was born here in this land where you are right now. And it's important for you to take that home with you, that you stood there where it all started a long time ago. <laughs>